Annika? Are you still listening? Okay, great. So I think we can end class there. Make sure that you take a break between your classes. Those who don't take breaks only have 10% of the brain capacity going into their next class than those who do. See you on Wednesday. Take care.集団による感染をいかに防ぐかが極めて重要です。大規模感染のリスクを。
。電話してな。大好きだよ。
Diary, August 12, 2020. Places like these, they always have different sounds and voices. Nobody else can hear them, except me. All the time, when I hear it, when it spreads throughout the insides of my body, when I get into my skull. changed for 16 years of my life. The efforts still work though, so at least I got that. And they have me go outside, but it doesn't regain back all the years that my life has been wasted. Especially with the frequent Your hypersensitivity got me worse, Leo. I I got a call from your sister today about your breakdown in the bar. I want you to, Leo, I want you to understand about your situation more than anyone, and I hope you get it. Uh, okay, I, I know. All right, I know. But like, I keep hearing these these sounds and noises around me every time, and and I, I all of this feels hurt. Okay, all of this just feel hurt, and I want I want this to be over with already. Leo, you've come so far this time, and it's just a waste to throw it away. You're all hard work. Do not let one breakdown stop you from flying, let's say. I just want you to be more comfortable with the sounds that you'll hear in life because you can't run away from them forever. Dear friend, I'm sorry to have let you down. There is no more I can do. It has been a while since we last lived our lives with joy, with purpose. It has been a while since life became an endless abyss of pain and incurable anguish. It has been a while since I looked at myself in the mirror and saw someone looking back at me who had passion and goals. It has been a while since I turned on the television and saw something that didn't remind me of my inevitable doom. 10%! Wow! seems like just yesterday where the whole world was sent into a panic over the first wave of deaths. It has been a while since I last turned toward those around me without fearing them to turn against me and seize whatever I have left. It has been a while since I lived. Because yes, I live in a world unimaginable years ago, but it's amazing how quickly, how suddenly life can turn on you. One second you're holding hands with it, and the next it has you pinned to the floor in a chokehold. I remember that my dad used to talk about some guy called Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Of course, he would be saying that in the context of boxing, but now that I hear it again, I find something off. It should be float like a butterfly, get stung by a bee. There is no room for floating, for living life with no direction. Because sooner or later, you're gonna get stung. And that's it. 
I write to you hoping that your life isn't as bad as mine. Or should I say your circumstances aren't as bad as mine? Because I realize now, with the bee resting on my finger, that even though I couldn't change the time and place where I go, I could at least determine how I got there. For the truth is, I've let the bee get to me long before this day. Sure, I have seen childhood friends, siblings, and parents reach a higher place. But was it worth it to spend these last years trying to evade an unavoidable future instead of coming to terms with it and cherishing whatever I had left? Friend, I hope that you live in a time where an unstoppable force like the one of my world hasn't revolutionized the way that you live. Because the truth is, I don't know if our incredible species has more time to live. I guess what I'm trying to say is that death is always imminent, lingering somewhere in the shadows. It is faster than you, and it will get to you. But know one thing, it is there. What if you and death met, but at that point you had no more things you wanted to do on this planet? Life is like a burning candle. Let the wax melt until it is flat on the surface, because all it takes is one breath to make it go out. Wala ka na ibang ginawa kundi ng gulo. Sorry po. Mamatay ng mga halaman? Drought. Shhh! Ano? Shhh! Dapat may ginagawa man lang kay mga bata kahit magkagiban lang ng tubig. Swarty swarty naman yung manok. Walang ginagawa. Ano? ano? Malulungkot siya kung manalaman niya na wala ng ani. Mas magtrabaho pa kayo ng mas mabuti. <laughs> sa weather forecast, magiging mainit ngayong araw. Sa mga nag-aabang ng ulan, meron pong 0 to 10% chance of rain. Medyo tuyo ang lupa pero magandang balita para sa ating mga magsasaka. Bukas po ay mataas na mataas ang posibilidad ng ulan. Ilabas na po ninyo ang inyong mga payong. Madidiligan na ang mga uhaw na uhaw na halaman, tanim at lupa. Huwag kayong mag-alala, darating din ang ulan. Hindi uulan, hindi uulan.
Go get yours up. We need your help. What do you mean you can't help us? I'm already in deep shit at the lab. They're starting to realize I helped you escape. Wait, not him. What happened when the chip reaches zero? I can't tell you that. Our deal! Our deal was to get you out of there, and I did. We live in an abandoned shack infested with rats. That's not my problem. You wanted to see the outside world, right? How the hell? Alright. 